So as the member of the NATO, so we will share the sky. We have a uh, common protection with the sky protection with the Czech Republic. Uh, we have a common exercise with American side, but not only uh, American, with another state of the NATO. And now in nowadays, it's very important to cooperate together, sharing the our uh, sharing our capabilities and our skills, our uh, maybe sometimes it's very good to go somewhere to the different airport to try their procedures, their shooting range and together we can be better. So I come from Slovakia, it's the very small country in the middle of the Europe. Uh, my born city is the Skalica, it's a very nice kingdom city in the west of the Republic. Then after uh, a high school, I decided, like I mentioned, it was in that time I have only one goal and it was flying. I want to fly something small, fast and little. And for me it was just, I, wanna, I wanted to represent my country, I want to serve my country, so I decided to go, uh, join to Air Force. Now I am here in the US, uh, I am in the F-16 project, amazing aircraft, and I am living my dream, it's perfect. Um, I, I am serving in uh, Sliach Air Force Base. It's a small base in the middle of the Republic. Uh, there we have uh, our fighters. And there is a lot of very good instructor pilot, a lot of good pilots. We are like a big family. And I love this life. It's amazing. For the first time, I'm here in the US, first time. Uh, I, expected, I expected something that it would be culture shock or something like that, but no way. I started in San Antonio in the language, in the language course and it was perfect. People are very kind, are professional. I love it here. It's perfect. I think the base, base is base it's small. It's very close to Mexico, so it's very hot for me. But I think that uh, living here, the people here on the base are very friendly, are very helpful. So I'm enjoying here every day. I'll spend here a lot of time. So I'm trying to acclimatize. Acclimat oh. I'm trying to, to set the USA like my second home for me and my wife here. So I think that after four years here, when I will come back to Slovakia, this will be culture shock maybe for me. Because four years here, it's a long time. Uh, training with the American pilot, with American US Air Force, it's a very big opportunity for us. What we, uh, we are from a small country, so we just have some exercise outside of my country. And uh, we, shared this, we shared some skills with the, another pilots. But here in US, around us, is a lot of skillful pilots with a lot of flying hours around the world. So it's very amazing. They are professional. They are kind to us, and we are trying to, you know, take all the good stuff with the guys. They they are trying to share their skills with us. It's very perfect. Uh, we we have an opportunity to see the flying from the different attitude or view, and flying here. You know, it's it's different. It's much larger scale flying, a lot of aircraft in the air, uh, three runways, parallel runways is something I never used before, and your areas are very big, and areas in Slovakia are very small because we are a very small country, and I think that this is the big benefit for the pilots from Slovakia. They can share the skills, they can learn from the most skillful pilots in the in and that's, I think that, that's all. So uh, from Northeast Ohio, a reservist up there with uh, Youngstown Air Reserve Station, we're a C-130 unit, uh, prior navigator there, now just uh, moving, up, moving up a new seat to become a pilot. Uh, grow, grew up an Air Force brat, so grew up in the military lifestyle. Uh, my father was a reservist, he was a full-time reservist, so kind of steeped in that tradition, uh, saw him putting on the uniform every day, and I uh, wanted to make that a part of my life as well. So uh, after graduating college, joined the unit uh, as a navigator, and now uh, uh, caught the flying bug when I was going through training and said, you know, I, I'd really like to pursue becoming a pilot, and now here I am. So uh, they bring a lot to the table, a lot of experience. They come here as pilots in their own right, uh, lots of hours, uh, lots of hours flying in, in different places. Uh, so 
as a prior air crew member, it's it's uh, refreshing coming, uh, studying with them, uh, being able to pick their brain on certain aspects of flying and knowing they have the context to really add to the conversation. Uh, I, I've done exercises in, in Eastern Europe uh, before and worked with them in the air and it's, it's nice to get to know them on the ground now and, and see uh, that they're really truly quality pilots and uh, quality students here. Uh, so working with them, they're uh, the first of the Slovak Air Force to be here in, uh, and they're really motivated in that regard. They want to set a good impression uh, for Slovakia and it really shows in how they approach their training. They're always asking those extra questions of why do you do this, uh, why do you do things this way, why do you do things that way. And uh, so being able to go the extra mile and dig a little bit deeper into what we're learning here, uh, it's, it's very nice. I get an extra benefit out of it and I know they do as well. Uh, joint training period, just uh, knowing how they operate and how we operate, having that uh, connection just when you finally get into the air with each other makes it that much better, you're that much more effective. So we know what they're thinking, they know what we're thinking, and having that common bond really uh, allows us to, to, to bolster our effectiveness when we're flying together. We're all a part of NATO, we're all coming together, we're fighting the same fight, fighting the same enemies, looking at the same threats. Uh, and in that regard, uh, that's the biggest benefit of coming together, having joint training. Uh, knowing where they stand, knowing where we stand, and that uh, we're both looking at the same, uh, the same threats and the same opportunities in the same way uh, is very beneficial. So since I was born, the becoming a pilot was always my biggest dream and I'm really fortunate I like made it to, to this point. My dream was always to fly fighters, so uh, I applied to military, military academy and uh, I was fortunate to be chosen to fly jets for Slovak Air Force. Well, with US Air Force, uh, it's a very great opportunity. Uh, as Many people know the U.S. Air Force is like best or superior in uh, around the globe. So uh, it's the best opportunity in my life to come here and uh, share experience, my experience, uh, how we fly in Europe, and also the learn from uh, learn from like best pilots in the world how to actually how to actually fly uh, in U.S. system and uh, around the world. So I found it very beneficial for, for us. Well, the best thing is uh, obviously making those uh, international relationships uh, and also uh, improving my language because English is my uh, second language. So I'm really glad for every opportunity to improve it. And yeah, just uh, see, see flying from another perspective from the West perspective, I would say. Well, as we all know, today we live in unstable world, world I would say, and uh, we are part of NATO. So, uh, uh, yeah, we are part of NATO, so that's why it's very important for us to come here and train in the same environment, like our peers from the US and uh, from other countries train, so we are on the uh, same page. I would say, and uh, yeah, we are facing same same threat. So that's I think it's the most important thing to learn how to cooperate together. Release, and you can continue with this. Okay. So for us, it's ILS localizer, DME runway for one three sender, localizer frequency one one zero point three, is channel two, approach course one two eight, runway. Uh, breakout. We're going to see uh, under run approach sliding barrier path is on the left, runway is on the other side. We're going for the center runway. Runway, I'll take it up to 13,000, and once we're established on that arc in that 13,000, we proceed direct to our, the lateral confines of our area. We're going to area four today, so I'll uh, we'll cruise over there 13,000, get in our area. Use the different 30 degree bank angle and start descending mm -hmm. the same, and for steep turns. 
Yeah, so for steep turns, uh, we'll get straight and level again. Uh, I'll proceed to my Mr. Press procedure for PCL, positive climbing, clean configuration. I'll switch to channel 15. I will climb to 3000 feet on the radial 305 to 2 nautical miles. Let's go.